if somebody is on dialysis uh, on a chronic basis, that is they have an end stage renal disease and they, need, they are dialysis dependent, so you need to plan your travel in the sense like if you are going uh, to some place for a very short period like for a day or two, it would be easy for you to undergo the dialysis the day before you start traveling and then uh, the moment you come back you get onto the dialysis once again. Suppose if you are traveling for longer periods like a week or, or anything beyond three days, like it's always better to look for places uh, where you can undergo dialysis at your destination. So you are going to a distant place, uh, try to get in touch with a doctor or a hospital over there, get an appointment, see that you continue your dialysis according to the schedule in that place as long as you are there. So this is mostly for hemodialysis patients. Patients who are on peritoneal dialysis where the patients undergo dialysis in their own house where they can do it themselves. So these patients just need to carry their own supplies. Uh, patients who are on automated peritoneal dialysis, they have a small instrument with them uh, the, that's called the, uh, the Home Choice Pro sort of machines which they can carry with them which are easily mobile where they need a normal power source so they can go there and have continue their dialysis.